Hi guys! Um, today I'm going to be doing my second Zen Market haul. And this isn't like a super big one, but it's got some stuff that I'm excited about from bias groups and just other groups that I really like. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I got is Red Velvet's um, first Japan mini album, hashtag cookie jar! Um, and this is the limited edition, and it just came with a photo book. Um, I did not get a photo card with this, but yeah, I'm really excited to have this. I actually haven't listened to the rest of this album, but I really like hashtag cookie jar. I really like, you know, Russian Roulette and Red Flavor and Dum Dum, so I haven't heard basically the two original other songs. And this packaging is really cute. And actually the photo book is pretty nice. Like it's it's not huge, but like, you know, it's something and it's cool and this disc is cute. So yeah, so I'm happy to have this one. And then I also got um something that may seem kind of random. 2 PM's third album Grown. This is the grand edition, so this is like the special edition. And boy does this come with a bunch of goodies. If you have not seen an unboxing of this, I would highly recommend checking it out. Um, not only do you get a bunch of like pictures and photo books and stuff, you also get two discs, which I think is pretty impressive. Um, and I got this for very cheap, so thank you Zen Market. I love you. Um, this is one of the few 2 PM albums I wanted to collect, so the only two I'm missing are number five and um, Gentleman's Game, and then I'm also looking at getting some solo work as well, which is kind of what I already have now. But yeah, so grown. Very excited to have that album. It's very pretty. Okay, so next I got two things for Vix. The first is I finally got Robbie's solo album, Realize, which is very exciting for me. Um, I've been having a really hard time finding this album places. Like, it comes up on stock periodically on Ketchup CD, but like instantly goes out of stock. It's very strange. I feel like they just get a copy. So I finally have it, which is really exciting. And I was not expecting this to come with a photo card, but it did. And so this is the one that I got, which is cool. So obviously I'm looking for the other one and plan to get it at some point, but I was just not expecting it to be brand new. And then it was, so that was great. And then I also got <laughs> this photo book, the Hello Stranger Global Photo Books. This is like where Vix goes all around the world and like does a bunch of pictures. So they go to um, Dallas, Los Angeles, Milan, Italy, Stockholm, Sweden, and Tokyo, Japan, which is pretty cool. And it came with these Polaroids, which there's one for every member, a poster, and then the photo book, which is just super lovely. Um, I actually want to do like a whole Twitter thread about this because there's some pretty funny things in this. But yeah, this is a really nice photo book of them just like, you know, posing around the world, which is cool. Um, and then there's a DVD as well, which I haven't watched yet, but I actually might watch after I finish filming this video. So I was very excited to have this, so I think they might have more photo books. I haven't really looked into this, but I think I have both of Vix's photo books now, which is kind of neat. Um, and then of course I bought some stuff for Girls' Generation, because what is a haul from Zen Market if you're not buying stuff from your ultimate bias group? Um, so the first thing I got was the Girls' Generation First Japan Tour Memorial. So this is the photo book of like the behind the scenes of the concert. And I actually really like this one a lot. I'll probably do an unboxing of this just to kind of go with my other one. Oh, there's my dog. Uh, but just to give you an idea of like what we had to work with, this is what this one is. For those keeping track at home, I now have, I believe, all the tour memorials except for Fantasia. I'm not sure if Fantasia had a tour memorial. They definitely had a photo book for that tour. Um, so yeah, making really good progress. And I bought this for like $5. Very impressive. So next up I got um, Girls' Generation's Fantasia Tour in Japan Blu-ray. So this is the Blu-ray of the Japanese version of the Fantasia Tour, which actually has a pretty decently different track list than the one that they did in Korea, which is pretty cool. I'm very excited to watch this in all of its beautiful 1080p glory. This also comes with a little photo book, which is pretty cute. Uh, but yeah, so working on my Japanese Blu-ray collection, so I decided I was going to do Blu-rays for Japan since I already have all the DVDs. And then I also got their very first tour, um, first Japan tour, Blu-ray as well, which has a pretty similar track list to the Soul one, um, and this is the limited edition, so it did come with the pins, which are hilarious. Um, I will actually take a second to show you guys these pins. I just, like, there's nothing wrong with them, like, as a thing. Like, there's, n I have no problems with the fact that they, like, give you pins, because that's kind of an interesting extra. I just, like, what am I supposed to do with these? Like, I'm not gonna put them on my like backpack, I could lose them, and like why would I only put one member, and anyway, they're kind of funny, and they're a thing that I have now, which I think is great. Um, so yeah, so that was pretty much my haul. Let me pull some more stuff into the shot. I'm really happy with all the stuff that I got, um, because I'm trying to kind of fill in my collection of older releases, and it was just, it's a good one, and I think it was good stuff. So yeah, let me know down below if you have any like questions or want any unboxings of any of these things, although I'm sure all of these have already been unboxed a lot, so you could probably find one. But yeah, thanks so much for watching! Bye!